I really enjoyed this experience and the opportunity to practice um, our interviewing skills. And um, I think this is a vital aspect of becoming a social worker is to see how to practice and to see how you look on camera and to see how if you do have any nonverbal, give up any nonverbals or see if you are probing or using other interviewing skills. Um, overall, I think we did a good job with probing. Um, we didn't, we probe when appropriate to seek care, clarification. Um, we didn't probe too frequently. We didn't use too much topic control. And we didn't show any non-verbal non or verbal biases. So I think we did a really good job probing. Kudos to us. Um, as far as, um, I really love doing the role play because you get so creative and you can prepare yourself for the unexpected. What I didn't expect as the interviewee or the respondent was, um, I didn't expect it to be so challenging. Um, I had a story all made up in my head and I thought it was going to go perfectly, but for some reason while I was becoming, while I was the um, respondent, I couldn't help but be the social worker at the same time. So I would think of the problem and then I'm like, oh no, that's not challenging enough. I want to challenge my partner. I want to challenge him to think beyond or think more or to probe more. So I was kind of um, retracting things in my head and um, it was challenging but I think I thought it would be easy that part would be easy for me um, the role when I played the interviewer I did expect it I did expect for me to be hard on myself because I'm really critical and at the time while I was also being the interviewer I was thinking about oh I shouldn't have said that oh oh that was good um, so I kind of expected that and I'm glad I, I want to see how it comes off on camera and actually on camera I can't even see myself thinking about those things. I'm actually smiling that's a good thing because I don't come off with any number it's like oh that was crazy or why did I do that. I think in the interview I think it's important for you to be um, aware of yourself and what you're thinking, your thoughts. So um, I think that's a good, re a good um, reason why we should do process recordings and also in the, um, in the, um, the article interviewing as an art, it emphasizes being self-aware because this is, we shouldn't dehumanize interviewing and we should not be blank slates. So it's important for us to be aware of how we're coming off and also be aware of how our responses may, um, may provoke a response in our clients or our respondents and ask about that in the moment versus trying to skip over it and not probing about it. Um, I think I was most aware of the inaccuracies when I was in Vero because like I said, I'm very critical of myself and I was so focused on saying the right things, making sure I probe correctly and not giving off the wrong nonverbals all in 10 minutes and then this is going to be recorded for everyone to see. Overall, this was a great exercise. It gives us a chance to see the humanity in, in interviewing and become self-aware. I really liked how when my partner was the interviewer, he was not too pushy or judgmental and he emphasized the collaborative partnership. I really, really want to commend him for that. He did a really good job with that. Um, I also realized how much I use the other interviewing skills other than the probing. probing. I also use um, reframing, building, and I also focus on building rapport. And I use a lot of strength-based of approach. And I really, I didn't realize I was doing it at the time. And I was focusing more on making sure I probe or making sure I'm not saying the wrong things. And throughout that, I, I saw that I was saying a lot of good things. And um, even though I was a little nervous, I think I did a really good job. I think we both did an excellent job. And I really appreciate this opportunity.